welcome back. I hope you are ready and excited for the video I have for you today. It has by far been my most requested video in my comments since my last two videos started to gain traction. And you guys wanted to know about my Pottery Barn terracotta pumpkin dupe. And today I'm going to show you how to take this plain $5 pumpkin from the Dollar Tree and turn it into something like this. Um, I also have two other dupes for you. I have a Grandin Road pumpkin dupe and I have a Michaels dupe. So this is all going to be things that you can use to elevate your inexpensive decor and make it look more high end. I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you have a lot of fun watching it. Let's get started. So we are going to take all of these pumpkins plus this box of pumpkins and turn them into a high end version of the Pottery Barn Jack-O-Lantern. It's going to be so great. So I'm actually going to do a couple of versions. I'm going to do just a plain black chalk paint version. I'm going to do the terracotta version and then I'm going to do a version with these metal pumpkins that I have um, that I'm still in search of. Um, at home goods. I got to go back and find some more, but we're also going to do metal pumpkins as well. So it's going to be a nice fun DIY. Uh, enough of me talking. Let's get to the video. All right. So we got a new angle here. So first thing you're just going to take your pumpkin. You're going to make sure you get all his little stickers off, cut off the little price tags, and you're going to need some paper or a surface that you can paint and have uh, flour or powder on. You're going to need different size paint brushes. I'm using some small angle brushes for the little cracks and crevices and then some wider ones just to get the paint on good. And then whichever paint you're going to use, I'm going to be using this Waverly ink chalk paint because I just like the look of chalk paint. But if you want to spray paint or use acrylic, you can definitely use that. Um, I might even do one of the pumpkins in acrylic so you can see the difference, but we're going to start with the chalk paint because that's the version I have already made. And then I'm gonna be using baking powder, but you can use baking soda. This is just what I have and I didn't wanna go buy anything else. So the first thing you're gonna do is we wanna paint our crevices, the crevasses. We wanna cover all this real good and just make sure that we get all of this yellow covered. And then we are going to paint the entire pumpkin stem and all in the black chalk paint. So let's get started. dry and then we're going to do a second layer and then add our baking powder. I want the first layer to be completely dry though because chalk paint can be a little thin and I don't want you to see any of the orange through it. Um, you want to make sure you get in all the little cracks and crevices and make sure those are all painted whatever color you're using because there is a lot of that orange and yellow in there. So you want to make sure that you get that covered completely. The little crevices might need two or three coats. So just go with your judgment but it is looking so much better already you could even stop right here and just have a black chalk paint or the black acrylic paint and it would still look beautiful but we are going to take it a step further and add our baking soda so i'll see you back here in a minute and just so you know i have the alcohol you can also use acetone if you want to clean up like if you get a little paint on this little plastic just a little alcohol or acetone on a q-tip we'll get it right off so we're almost all dry we're going to do our last layer and then while the paint is still wet i'm going to put the baking soda on top and then ooh, and then smush my pumpkin and then dust it with a dry brush and that's how we're going to get that cool terracotta look so let's do one more layer of the chalk paint and add our powder Alrighty, and while the paint is still wet, I'm going to take baking soda and just, there's really no rhyme or reason to this. Just sprinkle it on top like this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take the dry paint brush and dust it off. 
And that's gonna kind of give us that aged terracotta look. The clay kind of, you know. But you can really go as little or as much as you want to with this look. You know, just keep adding more. So we're gonna I might just do a little one of these and just brush down and around. And remember this is why you want to have like a workspace that you can get a bunch of stuff all over. So now that I kind of have the top the way I want it, I'm gonna kind of go around and just put some powder like in the crevices, you know? And make sure we get the back side too. So the first one that we finished today is the Pottery Barn dupe, which is the terracotta style pumpkins. And these are my version of that. I think they came out so good. I think they look so cute. If you want, like you see on a lot of them, you can add your own little um, stem with some clay. I kind of just like these the way they are. I think they look super cute, but you can add anything you want to customize it. and. This is such a fun way to make such a cheap prop look awesome and to make it your own. So definitely if you wanna add a stem, I say go for it. Our second pumpkin was our Grandin Road dupe, which is just a flat, all black um, chalk painted pumpkin. Grandin Rose is like a resin, all white. Again, if you wanna do an all white pumpkin, if that matches your aesthetic better, I say go for it. This one matches mine better and, ugh, is that not just the best? To me, putting this black chalk paint over it makes it look like stone. It looks so beautiful. I absolutely love the way these turned out. I got this at Home Goods for $14.99. And as you can see, it is the perfect spooky ooky pumpkin. This looks straight out of Sleepy Hollow. This is just so perfect for my theme, but I'm not using silver. I'm using black and gold this year. So what I'm gonna do with this is paint it with the black chalk paint, and then I'm going to dry brush some gold over the stem and the indentions. So we're gonna do several types of pumpkins today, like I said, just to give you a bunch of different options because you may not like the terracotta option or you might just like a plain painted and colored pumpkin or you may have something metal like this that doesn't necessarily go with your aesthetic and you want to zhuzh it up a bit. So let's start zhuzhing. So I have done two layers of black chalk paint on all the pumpkins. As you can see, this is some of them. The rest are over on the counter drying. Um, but now we're going to take the metal pumpkins and the smaller pumpkins like this and do some dry brushing to add a little highlight to them, make them stand out and match the decor on the piece that they're going uh, to be on. And basically we're gonna go from something like this, which is beautiful by itself. If you wanna leave it here with um, your white chalk paint or black chalk paint, I think that looks amazing. But we are going to be making it look like this reminiscent of the Michaels Headless Horseman. If you have the Michaels Headless Horseman, which I'll show you in a minute, um, the pumpkin on the horseman has this bronze uh, highlight, and that's what we're gonna do because that is the Headless Horseman that I will be using um, on this display. So what we're gonna do for that is I'm just taking some bronze acrylic paint. You can take any kind of paint that you want to, whatever is gonna work for your aesthetic. And I'm just going to 
squish a little bit of that onto my paper. And then I'm taking a dry brush. This has nothing on it. Um, I just haven't cleaned it. And I'm dipping that into the paint and I'm kind of going back and forth to get the paint off. And then I'm going on this rag and getting as much paint off as I can. And now we're going to hit the top of the pumpkin with this bronze color. And you can do as little or as much as you want any design you want, any way you want. I'm just kind of hitting the high spots first. As you can see, you really don't have to have a rhyme or reason. And just every time you go back in, just make sure you are getting off as much paint as possible because that's how you get this look without having too much going on. And that's it. It's so quick and so easy. And there is no right and wrong way. There's no imperfect way. There's no, you know, it's not like, oh, I mess up. It looks awesome. So I'm going to finish doing some dry brushing on our small pumpkins. And then I will show you everything that we did today all together. And finally, I think my favorite one is the Michaels dupe. So if you're familiar with the Michaels Headless Horseman, you know that it is this precious little guy, but it has all these awesome bronze highlights on it from dry brushing. So I decided that since that's going to be part of my um, living room setup this year, I wanted to make my own pumpkins to match. So I just got some of that bronze uh, acrylic paint and painted my silver pumpkins um, black and we added those highlights to it and we also did it to our little at home pumpkins and I just think this really made those pumpkins look incredible. I think it came out so good. I think they're going to match so well together. Um, these just look really aged and antiqued and extra spooky and then paired with the little at home pumpkins that i did i just love these so much because let's not forget they started off like this white little plastic pumpkin and now they look like this it looks like it could be stone it looks aged it looks like it could be resin it looks much more expensive than the little six dollar pumpkin we got and it is gonna look awesome with my decor I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I hope I gave you some ideas that you can use on your own decor. Um, I hope that you don't feel overwhelmed. I know sometimes during the holidays, especially Halloween and Christmas, it can feel like consume, consume, consume. I need to buy this, I need to buy that. And sometimes people can feel left out because we may not be able to ex afford the expensive um, props and expensive decor. And sometimes you can feel like very frustrated. I've definitely been. Hello, this is editing Kaylee. As you can see, I've been laying on my couch for the past few hours trying to edit this video. And I just got to the end and realized I didn't finish the video. Whatever footage I had of the ending of that video is poof, gone. Anyway, I was just saying, I don't want you to feel overwhelmed and feel like you have to buy, 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 and buy the most expensive things, and that's the only way for your house to look good. That's not true. You can buy inexpensive items and make them look expensive, and you can just have a great time with what you can budget and what you can make work. It doesn't have to be extravagant to be amazing. So, I hope that this video inspired you. I hope you really enjoyed watching it, and I hope that you get to make the projects that you want to make and that you have fun doing it thank you so much for joining me i hope you love this video if you did please like and subscribe and i can't wait to see you back bye <laughs>